Hello everybody, in this video we want to see how we can programmatically access a user field in a SharePoint list. First we create a sandbox SharePoint project, we create a web part that reads the list item and shows the values of the user field on a label, and then deploy and test the solution on SharePoint 2013. Setup is already done on VM, I'm using Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise, and the team site is already created on SharePoint and I already created a custom list to work on. If you want to see this list, this list I've actually added it already to the home page. So this list is called test list one and it has one custom column called item owners which is a user field. So as you can see I can actually add multiple users to it. So it, the first one has only one user but the item two has actually two users added to it. So the first step is creating a sandbox SharePoint project. I assume everybody knows how to create a sandbox project. I've already created a project called Demo Sandbox. So step one is done. Step two, create a web part that reads a list item and shows the values of user field on a label. So the whole idea is trying to keep it as simple as possible. So I add a new item and under Visual C Sharp items, I click on Office SharePoint and I select a visual web part and I call it read user values and I click on add. Visual web part is created so quickly I go to the design all I need to do I need to add a label to it uh, the label is added and this label is going to show the user. And I also add a button. So when I click on the button, it's going <clears> to <throat> run the code that I'm willing to run. So I just double click on the button. So it creates everything that I need. The first thing I need to do, I need to add a reference to the SharePoint Oversight Library. So using Microsoft.SharePoint is the first thing I'm going to do. Then I will go to the button take a reference to the current web using the SP context, uh, getting the reference to the list, test list one, and getting the reference to the item using the get item by ID, which is basically the fastest way to get access to the single list item. So I have item to work with, and I just put the column name called item owners. Okay, I need to put this item in a variable, but now here's the point. What's going to be the type of that variable? To do that, I use SP field user value collection because it's actually a collection. I have more than one user. So I call it item owners. Well, it complains a little bit because it's a mismatch in the type, so I just need to cast it to the same type as of SP field user value collection. Visual Studio is happy. Now because there is more than one item, I need to loop through it. So I just go to for each SP field user value and I call it item owner in item owners. My code is basically done. What it returns, it actually, item owner is, a, is actually a field user value. Basically, it's an SP user type. So if I go to item owner dot, I can have the user, and that user is actually my SP user, which I can have access to whatever I want, including email, including ID, or even I can pass it to the SharePoint profile. Fine. So here I would say label one dot text equals user dot name plus and to make it better to read I would say br slash as of new line in HTML. And to make it a little bit cleaner I would say label one dot text equals nothing. Let's deploy and see how it works. So right click, deploy. It 
it's deployed on SharePoint and all I need to do I just need to edit the home page and I just insert the web part that I just created let me go to custom demo sandbox read user value that's a correct one I just add it and I just say save okay so I click on the button and it's going to show me one user only one user yep sure because I forgot to use it with plus equal let's deploy it again and refresh this page click on button and it's going to show me both the users so we created the item we deployed and tested the solution on SharePoint 2013 thank you very much for watching stay tuned subscribe more videos are coming Thank you.